everyone, Allegra Miller here to share with you the Astro Alchemy for March 28th and March 29th, 2021. I will be speaking about the astrology and the essential oils that will help make the most of these energies. For simplicity's sake, I have divided the oils I'll be speaking about in two categories. The basic category for those of you that may be just getting started, you're likely to have at least one of the following doTERRA frankincense, balance and on guard. And in the specialty category, for those of you that are more seasoned oilers, you're likely to have at least one of the following, doTERRA Peace, DDR Prime, and Lemongrass. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, do keep in mind that there is a big difference with the brand doTERRA. So if you don't yet have doTERRA, please reach out. I'd love to support you in getting started. I've been selling doTERRA now for over seven years. Absolutely love transforming people's lives with these amazing products. Uh, so keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that if you already have doTERRA and would like to take your journey to the next level, I offer naturopathic consultations, body work, and life coaching sessions. So um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, early in the morning, March 28th, the moon moves into Libra. The Libra moon transit is very much, uh, very much revolves around finding balance in our lives. Libra is represented by the scales of justice in the zodiac. Um, and things that are favored under this energy include negotiation, mediation, harmonization, um, communication, um, forming joint ventures, joint partnerships, um, I mean, collaborative um, partnerships. Um, beautifying space is favored in this energy. The full moon will be exact at 2.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 28th, although the full moon effects will really be uh, the 27th, the 28th, the 29th. It's usually three days around the time of the full moon that we're feeling all these effects. Uh, this is the second super moon of the year. It's named the worm moon for when worms come through the dirt this time of the year. The dirt is thawing and, and the, the worms are that, that sign of spring. Um, let's see. Um, so this full moon is at eight degrees Libra and the sun, Venus, and Chiron are all conjunct at eight degrees Aries opposing the moon, which is really remarkable odds that that is the case. Um, what this particularly signifies is the sun, Venus, and Chiron and Aries will be very concerned with self. That's a very me-oriented energy. Um, and this will be in opposition to, um, to the Libra moon. So what this translates to is this full moon will be very much about understanding our own needs in relationship to the other to the needs of others so if you can imagine the scales of justice we've got our needs over here and then the needs of others and how to bring that into balance in a way that works for everybody so uh, libra is very much the sign of the diplomat so seeing things from all different sides um, and just having a deeper understanding. This is definitely a clarifying energy, really pulling to the surface what's working, what's not working. You'll be very present to what's not working so that you can clarify what's working. And this will specifically be likely um, revolving around issues with relationships. Um, this doesn't necessarily just have to mean relationships with uh, our, our lovers, but it can be um, family, it can be work people, it can be um, clients, you know, if you're a healer, how are you? Are you being there for yourself um, enough to give to your clients? Those are some of the themes. Um, let's see, the moon opposes Venus and Aries at 3.53 p.m. on the 28th, and this could bring up unfinished business in relationships. This can increase the desire for love and approval. It can also lower our standards 
when it comes to love, we could be choose someone and be with someone just for the sake of not being alone, which is never the ideal solution. Um, all right, and then later on March 28th, Moon trines Saturn at 7, 19 p.m. And this helps us be more mature in facing these relationship things that are bubbling to the surface in this energy so that we can maturely take the next right action to confront the situation. The minor planet Chiron is, con I said that, is conjunct Sun and Venus and opposite the Moon. So that's basically helping us to work through with Chiron involved in the mix. That's really pulling old wounds, old bruises that have to do with relationships and past hurts. That could very much be pulled to the surface in this moon. Um, but if we can see it in the eyes of evolution, pulling those wounds to the surface, whatever they may be, this is an opportunity to heal. So if you find yourself experiencing something in this energy that's familiar and you know that you have a history of different earlier similar situations, this is the opportunity to release it and say, oh my gosh, this is coming up so I can release it. Uh, not get so caught up in the details of what's happening, but um, put it, but by putting it in the context that this is release stuff, I think will be helpful. Um, and this is a good moon for finding love, for taking love to the next level. Um, a lot of those new moon intentions, March 13th, revolved around relationships. Um, all right, let me talk about oils. So full moon ritual is always a good, I mean, Full moon is always a good time for release ritual, uh, completion ritual, clearing ritual. Um, I picked oils that will be helpful in clearing. Frankincense is one of the king of clearing oils. It's good for clearing um, discordant energies, helping us to align with source, clearing lower vibrational forces. It's literally Go to exercising, um, exercising negativity. And um, I recommend taking frankincense internally. Putting it in your skincare is always a bonus. It's amazing for the skin. Um, but internally it takes it to the next level. Um, and putting it in the diffuser, you know, you can also put some in a spray bottle and clear energy, I mean, clear space that way. Um, but anyway, that's frankincense, topically bottom of the feet, earlobes, top of the head is always a good place, and your um, brow points. I picked balance because we've got the scales of justice, and this, uh, this theme for this full moon is balance, so why not pick the oil balance? Balance is topical aromatic only, so you can put it in the diffuser, you can put it on the bottom of your feet, again, outside of the earlobes back of the neck, wrist, make sure you're smelling it in when you do it. Um, I mean, when you use it, uh, very powerful for grounding and it actually has frankincense in it. So if you don't have the frankincense um, individual bottle, you do have it at least topically in uh, the balance. All right, and then I chose On Guard because On Guard is so helpful at clearing energy. I suggest taking On Guard both internally and topically, and it does have, um, it can have the potential to make skin sensitive. So do a little patch test before you slather it all over yourself, but bottom of the feet is always a good place. Also taking it internally, this will help just clear the stuff that is not going with you in this next cycle and um, is very good for helping to establish more firm boundaries, cutting uh, connections that no longer serve you. And that's not only connections to others, but aspects to yourself, things that you're outgrowing. And um, certainly in this, with some of the players involved in this full moon, these are gonna be old patterns burping up to the surface. So on guard internally and topically. And um, DDR Prime is super powerful at 
helping um, on a literal cellular level, helping the cells to um, to move to their next state, whatever that is. It's helpful in the um, in the birth death process and just moving things forward. And I think of it as a control alt delete. This really helps to transmute outmoded programs and outmoded uh, ways of being on a, on a very literal level. So this is the ideal time to get DDR going internally, uh, topically bottom of the feet. Um, this also can create skin sensitivity, so do a patch test with this as well if you're gonna put it on topically, but back of the neck is always a good place um, to, I mean, if you're, again, if your skin is okay with that. Uh, and then peace I picked because we're in this diplomatic energy of balancing, harmony, harmonizing, all of that, of course you want peace on board. Peace uh, front and back of the heart is excellent on the wrists, back of the neck, top of the head. Um, this is a good one too for those earlobes. Again, not in the ear, but around the ear. The earlobes, because you've got so many nerve endings, just like the bottom of the feet, it's a quick access to the whole body. Um, all right, and then on the 29th at 1.12 a.m., the moon in Libra trines Mars in Gemini. And this is going to give us drive to make decisive action and be, it'll help us begin projects, um, confident action, confident, um, de decisive way of being will, is likely probably part of, the, part of the mix under this influence. It's a good time to stand up for yourself. So if you've been dealing with some stuff, this is a good time to take a stand in a diplomatic, graceful way under the influence of this Libra moon, but in a strong, powerful way and say, look, this is what's up. This doesn't work. Let's get to what works. Uh, I mean, this granted this is happening early in the morning, but it'll carry through and it'll help you make some changes um, relative to the aspects that are being unearthed in, these, in this moon energy. At 2.06 p.m. on the 29th, the moon trines Jupiter in Aquarius. This is an extremely favorable constellation, good for enhancing intimacy, um, building, that is. Um, so any skills related to building intimacy, great. Uh, really good time for communication. And I don't just mean intimacy with romantic partnerships, but intimacy with friendships, with, with everyone that you um, are close with, like just getting to a deeper, more authentic heart-based level. Um, it's very magnetic energy. And then at 8.02 p.m. on the 29th, the Libra moon squares Pluto and Capricorn. This can be bring up some of the shadow aspect of Libra, which can be self-destructive and, and have some escapist kind of tendencies. Um, burping that up to the surface a little bit is going to be good. Back to what I was saying earlier. If you start to notice yourself with this escapist kind of tendency or wanting to, you know, overeat, over sex, over drug, over, um, think whatever your, whatever your trip is, uh, this will help reel it in and help us to really transmute the self sabotage kind of behaviors and um, and see them for what they are and work through them and not in them. Uh, I mean, not get stuck in them. All right, and then at the last thing on the 29th is at 11.09 p.m., Mercury in Pisces and is conjunct Neptune in Pisces. This is a very dreamy, mystical, magical, artistic um, energy. Intuition will be very enhanced. I would say, though, uh, just to be mindful that you are not projecting. Um, but a great time to meditate, get clear um, on listening to your heart and uh, proceeding from there. Um, all right, so I mentioned all of the oils except lemongrass. 
lemongrass uh, is in DDR Prime, by the way. Uh, so if you don't have lemongrass and you have DDR Prime, you're golden there. Lemongrass is very helpful at clearing negativity, clearing negativity from spaces, um, clearing just negativity from our body. Uh, it's just good for clearing any lower vibrational things that are outmoded um, and ready to be released. So lemongrass is always one of my favorite clearer energies. And you can take, of all that I mentioned today, frankincense is internal, lemongrass is internal. I would recommend with lemongrass a veggie cap. It is a strong oil. Um, On Guard is internal and DDR Prime are all internal. And then the topical will be the peace and the balance. So, all right. Well, I think that covers everything. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting this YouTube channel. And thanks, thank you for supporting this new doing two days at a time uh, aspect. I hope you're finding that valuable. Um, it feels good to be ahead so you have some time and I'm not just recording it on the day of. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. And if you are so called, I did list some links in the descriptions below these videos on how you can donate to um, the continuation of this YouTube series. Anyway, your support is very much appreciated. Enjoy this full moon and the after moon glow. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.